So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do something cool with your in-game Minecraft while speedrunning. Now, we all love speedrunning the game. Uh, it's just an extension to the game of Minecraft. And basically what it involves is you have to try and complete the game as fast as you can. And it's pretty fun. A lot of people really, really enjoy speedrunning the game. But a major difficulty comes when you're done with the game. I suppose I don't want to play this out anymore. I just want to leave and I need to save and quit the title. Then I need to click on this again, create new world, and I need to change the difficulty and all that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, if I want, I also need to delete uh, the last world if I don't want to lose all of my stuff, right? I can keep on deleting the world if I don't want my storage to fill up. But I'm going to be showing you the fastest way using AHK to do this almost instantly, and it is extremely helpful. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get that for yourself. Now, the first thing you want to do is open Notepad, and um, if you have not already downloaded Auto Hotkey, uh, make sure you go and do that. Just go to Chrome, search Download Auto Hotkey, AHK, and you should be able to download it pretty easily. Uh, I do have a video that shows you how to download it. Uh, it's the Dank Memer one. If you haven't already watched it, go ahead and do that. Get uh, Auto Hotkey the first few uh, minutes of the video, and then come back. Now, here, what you want to do is uh, it will tell you... Uh, I'll give you the link for auto hotkey. Uh, make sure you have auto installed so you can read that from there. I'm going to paste the raw code in the description. So you want to just copy it and paste it onto notepad and simply go file, uh, save as and save it as anything. You could save it as X, Y, Z and just make sure you put dot AHK and save as type all files. So that's what you need to change X, Y, Z dot AHK and make sure you save as type all files, right? That's all you need to do and it should save perfectly normally. Once you're done with that, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things you want to understand here. Uh, none of this is important. You can just read that. You can read troubleshooting if you face errors with the code. And basically, you want to go to this part where it says global difficulty. This is what concerns you. Suppose you're attempting a hardcore run. You want to change the easy and you want to make it say something like hard. Uh, wait, that's the wrong spelling. Let's make it something, something like hardcore, right? This will set the difficulty to hardcore by itself, which is really cool, right? It will give you the options here, peaceful, easy, normal, hard, hardcore. But I like to keep it set to easy because I just regular speedrun and easy is the best way to do it. Don't change any of this. This is all important for verifying your speedrun. And you can leave all of this. This is, don't touch any of this. It will affect the usability of your script. You want to go down here to the key binds. Now, you can, these are things you can change, right? Uh, this page up shows that if you click on the button page up, which should be on your keyboard, if it isn't, then you can change it to something to say like F1 or something like that. You can change it to say F1 or F2, but I'm going to leave it to say page up and um, it shows you this is the key bind for creating an RSG world, right? This is basically what it'll do. It'll exit the world and it'll create a new one. It won't delete anything. It'll do nothing else. It'll exit you out of the world and create a new one, right? But what page down will do is it'll exit the world, delete your last world, and then create a new one. This is if you uh, are really fret about storage, then you can use page down. And if you just want to exit for the day, just click on home. It'll exit, won't create anything new, and that's it. So these are three key binds. You can change them as per your convenience. And once you're done with that, uh, save it. And um, yeah, we're going to jump back into Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly to run the script. Obviously, you can right click on the script uh, wherever you saved it, or just double click on it, and it should start running. So once you've got it running, uh, it should show up it down in the taskbar. Uh, you can click on the little arrow to the right of the taskbar and it should show the auto hotkey logo. So I'm going to quickly jump into a world and suppose I'm done with this world. I don't want to play it anymore. Simply going to press page up. It's going to do everything for me. And this is just so satisfying to watch as it exits for you and it does all the hard work. It sets the difficulty and you just need to sit back and relax. Okay, new world. I'm going to play it. Oh no, I don't like these cows. I'm just going to punch one punch a cow and now I want to delete the last world so I'm going to put on page down it'll exit and then it'll delete the last world and it will make a new world this is extremely cool I personally am a huge fan of this so uh this is all for you to take right just paste the code run it and it is ready you are up and grab for a cool uh, intense speed running experience without needing to reset the world every single time if you enjoyed this if you found this helpful please drop a like and subscribe for more kind of content and i'm gonna catch you all in the next one